Thank you so much for jumping into this video. Today we're going to talk about the mariachi classic Silito Lindo. This has been played by many artists in many different styles. Today we're going to look at doing this as a ranchera valseada, which means it's going to be in three, four. So you're going to hear this rhythm throughout the entire song in the armonia, in the guitars and the vihuela. Boom, chick, chick, boom, chick, chick. That's our rhythm. You want to be able to dance to it where it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of the chords together in this song. Follow along with the chord diagrams that are above. Your first chord is going to be G major. That means that you're going to put your pointer finger on the second fret of the fifth string, your middle finger on the third fret of the sixth string, and your ring finger on the third fret of the first string. Make sure you play along with me as we go. Here's your first rhythm. We're gonna jam out on it for a little bit. Now we actually move faster than that. Your next chord though is gonna be G7. It's going to be pointer finger, jumps from where it was on the second fret of the fifth string all the way to the first string, first fret. This should almost be like an anchor. This needs to go first. Then you're going to put your middle finger right where your pointer finger was and your ring finger goes right where your middle finger was. So your middle finger is now on the second fret of the fifth string and your ring finger is now on the third fret of the sixth string. Let's go ahead and jam on that for a little bit. Okay, let's just put those two together. Practice that change between those two chords. This is G major or Sol Mayor, and then this is G7. Still Sol. Next up is an easier switch. You're gonna go from G7 to C. For this one, think of it like this. Each finger is moving closer to each other by one string. Your pointer finger goes from where it was on G7 on the first fret of the first string to the second string, first fret. Then your middle finger and ring finger are both gonna go that way one string, closer towards your toes. So your middle finger moves up to the second fret of the fourth string and your ring finger moves up to the third fret of the fifth string. The chords before you were strumming all six strings, now you're gonna be strumming the five strings closest to your toes. Once you're there, you're going to actually lift your ring finger up to go to E7, and you're going to put your middle finger now on the second fret of the fifth string, and then your pointer finger is gonna jump down one string as well. Let's practice that really quick. It goes from C, your pointer finger moves a string towards your nose, your middle finger moves one string towards your nose, and you get rid of your ring finger. Don't need it for this. Strum all six strings. Okay, now from there, you can actually take your pointer finger and middle finger, move it back to where it was for C major uh, to go to A minor now. So your pointer finger goes back to the first, uh, first fret of the second string and your middle finger goes to the fourth string second fret. Now your ring finger comes back and it's gonna play the string in between on the third string second fret. Play the five strings closest to your toes.
Now you've only got one more chord to learn and then you've got this down. This is gonna be D7, okay? This one is gonna be kind of like A, we're gonna use our pointer finger as an anchor for this. So that means your pointer finger is not gonna move. It's actually gonna stay in the same spot. Um, there's a few chords like this on guitar and I'll point them out when they happen. Your pointer finger is the anchor. It stays where it is. Your ring finger jumps over, staying on the second fret to the first string, second fret. And then your middle finger moves over to the third string, second fret. Strum the four strings closest to your toes. Okay, once you have all that, you go back to G, the first chord that we had there. Okay, let's put it all together. This is the hardest part of Silito Lindo. Uh, once you have this, you've got the song. Okay, let's check it out. Let's go slow. So that's all you need to know for this one. I hope that if you've got any questions, you let me know in the comments or um, reach out to me on my channel. So thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this video.